good day everyone. Welcome to our Math Asariat channel. Example, we have solve for the value of x. That is 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over 2. That is equal to 2 over x squared minus 1. And the roots for this is x is equal to negative 3 is the solution. But x is not the correct solution. Thus, 1 is an extraneous solution. Why? So to know that, why is that called extraneous roots or extraneous root or solution? So we have our lesson for this video, extraneous solution of rational quadratic equations. Going back to the example, solve for 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over 2 that is equal to 2 over x squared minus 1. Here is the solution. First, write down the given. Then, pagsamahin natin yung mga may denominator na variable. So, transfer natin yung 2 over x squared minus 1 naging negative at saka si 1 half naman, transfer naging negative 1 half. Then, remember first the square of binomial. So, yung mangyayari ka x squared minus 1, so maging x plus 1, x minus 1 na. Then, after that, so, find the LCD. LCD of x minus 1 and x squared minus 1. So, sulat lang natin. Find the LCD. We have x minus 1. Then, we have x squared minus 1. So, yung mangyayari dyan, hahanapin lang natin yung mga common sa denominator. So, sa first one is x minus 1. The second one is x minus 1, x plus 1. So, just simplify. So, we have only one common. That is x minus 1. Just write down at, as 1. Then, write down x plus 1. So, that is now our LCD. So, gagamitin natin yan mamaya to solve for the root or roots. Next, is to write down the LCD. Then, solve natin yung, uh, sulat muna natin yung negative 1 half sa kabila. So, walang mangyayari dyan. Just still negative 1 half. So, next is to solve for the first expression. That is 1 over x minus 1. So, mangyayari dyan. Multiply natin yung numerator sa LCD. So, 1 times x minus 1, x plus 1 over the denominator of the first expression, x minus 1. So, write down x minus 1. Then, simplify. So, yung mangyayari dyan, x minus 1, since the same, divide natin, that is equal to 1. So, we have 1 times 1 times x plus 1, we have x plus 1. Next, yung second expression. Tapos tayo sa first, pupunta tayo sa second expression. That is negative 2 over x squared minus 1. So, they, again, multiply the least common denominator to the numerator. That is negative 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, over the denominator of the second expression, that is x squared minus 1. So, sulat lang natin. Yung x squared minus 1 is equal to x plus 1, x minus 1. Then, simplify. So, again, we have a common x minus 1 divided by x minus 1, that is 1. Next, bila naman, we have x plus 1. Sa katabi niya, we have x plus 1. So, still... 1. So, negative 2 times 1 times what? We have negative 2. Then, combine like terms. Positive 1 and negative 2. Subtract. So, subtract natin. 1 minus 2 that is equal to negative 1. Then, simplify na naman. X minus 1, X minus 1 that is 1. Divide natin. That is equal to 1. Then, just write down negative 1 half. Then, we have 1. Kiti natin, natin yung numerator. Same sila, 1. So, therefore, yung denominator natin ay same din. So, x plus 1 is equal to negative 2. Then, x is equal to negative 2 minus 1. Then, negative 2. Just write down negative 2. Tapos, sa subtraction, change natin yung operation into addition. Then, yung sign ni 1 ay magiging negative na. So, change the sign of the subtrahend. Then, yung mayayari dyan, same sign. So, add lang. Negative 2 plus negative 1, we have negative 3. Then, through check, checking, so, na-solve ko, 
Hindi ko na ito explain Substitution lang. So, 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. Sir, but our lesson is all about the extraneous roots. So, where is now the extraneous roots or solutions? So, to find the extraneous root or solution, take a look with the denominator. So, first denominator is x minus 1. Sa kabila naman, yung mga, yung mga may variable na denominator. So, x minus 1. Create natin to 0. Then, move natin yung negative 1. Nagiging positive 1. Nasa right side na ng equation. Next, yung x squared minus 1 na ulit. Yung isosolve natin. So, x squared minus 1. Yung mga may variable lang ang denominator yung isosolve natin. So, equate to 0. Doon yung negative 1. Transfer natin sa kabila, sa right side of the equation. Transpose natin. So, magiging positive 1. Next, take the square root. Since may square tayo, so take the square root of the both, si of the both sides of the equation. So, magiging square root of x squared, that is x, then square root of 1, that is 1. So, we have now extraneous root or solution that is equal to 1. So, sir, ano yung checking dyan? So, ganito lang. Substitute the value of x, x that is equal to 1. So, 1 minus 1, 0. Dito naman sa kabila, 1 minus 1, 0. So, we cannot divide a number to 0. That is undefined. Math error or any error. So, that is now the solution. So, we have only solution that is x is equal to negative 3. And the extraneous root or solution is positive 1. So, that is now the root negative 3. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video tutorial on math lessons.